Hello my dear friends, I am Sujoy and today I will tell you three things. Number one, everything about the basics of integration. Number two, one numeric integration technique called Simpson's one third rule on Cash UFX 99 on US calculator. And number three, how to find out answer of an integration question even without doing the math. So stay tuned. So what is integration? Briefly speaking, integration is a technique of summing up as a whole. As you may know, this is called symbol of integration and this is called the lower limit, this is the upper limit and this is called integration expression or integrand or function. Next, types of integration. Integration is of two types. One is called indefinite integration. In indefinite integration, there is no upper and lower limits that is used in theoretical subjects such as physics and math. Second is called definite integration in that the specific lower and upper values are there. Again definite integration is of two types. One is called non-numeric definite integration in that the upper and lower limits are not numeric values. The values may be x, y, log x, e to the power x, x to the power e, etc. And in the second type which we are focusing on today is called numeric definite integration in that there is specific numeric lower and upper values. Next our question. Velocity of a car is measured for a time duration with fixed time intervals given in the following table. Velocity of a car is measured from the second minute to the twentieth minute with the interval of two minutes. And for every particular time instance the velocity of a car is given below in kilometers per hour. Our question is calculate the total distance covered by the car for that time duration. Our theory here every two minutes the speed of car is changing but during that time it is actually covering some distance. Like uh, between th these two minutes it is covering some distance in 10 km per hour. Between this time it is covering some distance in 18 km per hour. We can basically find out all the smaller distance covered and add them up to get our final answer. But that is a complex and time consuming process. Instead, instead of summing up all the smaller distances, we can integrate that is combine as a whole using numeric integration using upper limit that is 20 minutes and the lower limit that is 2 minutes. This is the table and this is the naming convention. The upper rows or the values of the x are called x row and starting with x0 and ending with number of elements minus 1. Here number of elements are 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So 10 minus 1 or number of elements minus 1 is the number of intervals. Interval means between these two number one interval. Between these two number one interval. So number of elements minus 1 is the number of intervals. Again the lower row is called y row or the expression row. Same con convention y0 to yn. And this is the general formula for Simpson one third rule. i or integrand is equals to h by 3 or h into 1 by 3. From this 1 by 3 the name Simpson's one third rule comes. Okay. So formula is h by 3 into y0 plus yn. y0 is the starting value and yn is the last value. Plus 4 into all odd y values. Odd means y1, y3, y5, y7, etc. Plus 2 into all even y values. Even means y2, y4, y6, y8, etc. Where h is called the interval gap. Here interval gap is 2, visible to eyes, but sometimes you have to calculate it. h is upper limit, that is 20, minus lower limit, that is 2, divided by number of intervals, that is 9. So h becomes 2. So i equals to 2 divided by 3 into y0 plus yn plus 4 into all odd y values 18, 29, 29 and 5 plus 2 into all even y values that is 25, 20, 32, 11 and 2. Rest is simple calculation. You will get 
i equals to 2 by 3 into 474 that is 316 now it's in kilometer per hour to get it into minute it divided by 60 so 316 divided by 60 equals to 5.26 kilometer approx the distance covered by the car between that time interval so this was our answer for this type of question there is another type of Simpson one third rule question there you will not be provided with the table you have to generate the table yourself what you will be provided with an expression like this and the number of intervals will be given say now our number of intervals is 4 so we will calculate our h that is upper limit minus lower limit divided by number of intervals that becomes 6 minus 2 divided by 4 the h becomes 1 we will start with our lower value that is 2 and put that value into the unknown that is x into the expression so we will get 1 divided by 1 plus 2 press the fraction button into the expression 1 divided by 1 plus 2 we will get 1 by 3 so for 2 the expression the value of the expression is 1 by 3 next we will increase the value by h so h is 1 so 2 plus 1 that is 3 and for 3 1 divided by 1 plus 3 becomes 1 by 4 so similarly by this process you can generate the whole table and after generating the table rest of the process is same as previous next I will show you how to find out the answer of this integration question without doing the math by your calculator press the integration button enter the expression press fraction 1 divided by 1 sorry one plus x for x press alpha and the right parenthesis enter the lower limit that is 2 enter the upper limit that is 6 and press equals to so you will get the answer directly that is 0 0.8472 we can do the math using this technique and you can check the answer will be same but you did it without doing the math it's good for MCQ type questions so friends this was my tutorial on Simpson's one third rule and integration how was the video let me know in the comment section and if you like the video please like it using the like button below that will increase the rating of the video and will help me and I upload uh, videos on mathematic tutorials on calculator tips and tricks I have uploaded a complete series of tutorials on all the modes from the computational mode complex mode statistics mode uh, number systems mode equation solver mode matrix solver mode table generator mode and vector generator mode of this calculator you can watch all those videos on calculator tips and tricks I upload science tidbit videos on science experiments and how to guide videos and electronic project videos also I am planning to upload uh, some travel videos nowadays you can, all, uh, you can watch all my previous videos on www.youtube.com front slash sujoy n70 and do not forget to subscribe to my youtube channel so that whenever I upload my next video you will be notified by an email that sujoy uploaded this video so by subscribing you will be linked with me so thanks for watching and stay connected